How's it going everyone? It's Jermaine Grant. Today I'm going to show you not only how to make proxies for faster editing inside Premiere Pro, but how to make custom proxy presets as well. So if you don't know, I'm editing a short film right now and I shot that short film in 4K using a Blackmagic RAW codec and right now my computer cannot handle that. So I use the proxy workflow so that I can edit with no problems at all. If you don't know what proxies are, proxies are smaller or lower res files that you use in your timeline for smoother editing. In short, you will suffer no lag or or dropped frames in your timeline. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. To create proxies the quick way, come over to the footage you have imported into your project. I'm gonna select all my clips and right click and scroll down to proxy and select create proxies. When this folder opens up, I highly suggest you change the format to QuickTime. Now, if we click on preset, we have these ready to go presets to select. Again, I suggest you choose Apple ProRes 422 proxy as it's a very edit friendly codec I'm going to choose low resolution proxy, click OK, media encoder will open up and start to transcode all your clips in the background. From this point on, you can carry on editing. All you have to do is turn on your proxies by clicking this button so that it turns blue. And if you want to turn it off, just click it again. If you want to create your own custom proxy presets, open up media encoder, select presets and click on create encoding preset. Once this pops up, change the format to QuickTime. Then make sure you're in your videos tab and under video codec, select Apple ProRes 422 proxy. Then we don't want to match the source footage. So make sure this box is deselected so that we can choose our own resolution. I'm going to choose 720. If we keep this link button on, I can change the height to 720 and I will instantly get the width in relation. Now from here, keep the boxes, frame rate, field order and aspect ratio ticked. Now moving on, you don't need to do this, but I suggest you do. Come over to effects and we're going to watermark our proxies just to show instantly when we are working with our original media or proxies. So under name overlay in format, select prefix and suffix only. Under suffix, I'm going to type in proxy and position in the top left, but you can position it wherever you want. And I'm going to change the opacity to 20 and I'm going to name the preset proxy preset. Press OK. Now in the presets browser, right click on the preset you have just created and select create ingest preset. From here on, make sure transcode files to destination is checked. Click the preset drop down menu and select the preset you have just created. Rename your preset, but at the end, put ingest. Click OK. Now right click on your new ingest preset and select reveal preset file. Once this folder opens up, take note of where this folder is located come back into premiere pro select the clip you want or clips right click and go to create proxies under destination we have next to original media in proxy folder selected keep this selected because it will create a folder of proxies next to your raw files or footage now click on add ingest preset and navigate to where your ingest preset is located click on the ingest preset we have just created earlier click open I'm going to leave next to original media in proxy folder ticked. Now click on OK and media encoder will start making the proxies. Once that's done, we now have our proxies with our embedded watermark to toggle the proxies on or off. Just click this button. If it's not there, select the plus button and drag this icon in here. I have created a couple of ingest presets to download for free. So click the link in the description below. They are DCI 4K, UHD 4K, normal HD and standard definition. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more about filmmaking or video editing or you want to follow me on my journey to make a feature film.